Do you have dreams of going to space? Have you ever wanted to design your own rocket like this one? Three, two, one, zero, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to- Whew, What a rush. Today we're going to make our own rockets with some of the things you might have at home, and we're going to learn a little bit about how NASA is planning to send astronauts back to the moon. If you had the chance, would you go to the moon? Ja, set, Lynn, Jocelyn! In order for a rocket to launch into space, it needs to overcome the force of gravity, which is pulling everything down to the center of the planet. As the saying goes, everything that goes up must come down. So for a rocket to overcome gravity, it needs to use rocket fuel, also known as propellant. The rocket fuel helps the rocket lift off the launch pad and reach outside of Earth's atmosphere. As the rocket fuel burns, it creates gas and flames that come out of the bottom, and so it adds a little bit of drama to the launch. <laughs> to make your own rocket at home, you just need a film canister for the rocket, and for the rocket fuel, we're going to use Alka-Seltzer tablets and water. When we combine these two things, they go through a chemical reaction and make carbon dioxide gas. That's inside all of those bubbles you see. Now, what do you think will happen if we close this and let the pressure build up? Five, four, three, two, one. That was pretty powerful for such a tiny rocket. Okay, now let's try a challenge, but let's take this outside because I think we're going to need more space. Okay, so we have water at three different temperatures, room temperature, cold, and hot. Which one do you think will launch the fastest? Let's time them and launch them one at a time. First up, cold water. Next up is room temperature water. Finally, we have hot water. That went so high. Come on, let's go talk about what happened. That was so cool. The rocket with the hot water launched the fastest because hot water molecules are moving around faster, so it made the chemical reaction happen faster. You can keep trying this experiment at home by changing different things. Maybe the amount of water, maybe the amount of Alka-Seltzer tablet. It's up to you. Now these might be one of the smallest rockets you've ever seen, but NASA is launching one of the biggest rockets called the Space Launch System, or SLS for short. SLS is 322 feet and weighs 5.7 million pounds. This is the rocket that's going to send astronauts back to the moon through the Artemis program. There are lots of rockets that send different things into space. So get to practicing because you might need to use those rocket skills in the future. Thanks for stopping by scientists, or should I say rocket scientists. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more science together and look out for your next discovery. Yeah.